squirrels. They are adorable, and they play a variety of roles like acrobat, bandit, gardener, trickster, and much more. If you thought your everyday squirrels are cute, wait until you see their relatives that will melt your heart. Here are the 10 most beautiful squirrels in the world. Number 10. Finlayson's squirrel, or the variable squirrel, is a species of rodent found in Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, and Vietnam. The species occurs in a wide range of wooded habitats, including gardens and parks in cities like Bangkok. The peelage color in this species is extremely variable, usually with overall blackish, first with white tail tip, second occasionally with white underside, face, and feet. Like other squirrels of its genus, Finlayson's squirrel is normally a canopy dweller, feeding mainly on fruit. Field evidence suggests that it has the usual form of dichromatic mammalian color vision, which may enable it to discriminate ripe from unripe fruits. Number 9. The red squirrel or Eurasian red squirrel is an arboreal omnivorous rodent found throughout Eurasia. In Great Britain, Ireland, and in Italy, numbers have decreased drastically in recent years. This decline is associated with the introduction by humans of the eastern grey squirrel from North America. However, the population in Scotland is stabilizing due to conservation efforts, awareness, and the increasing population of the pine marten, a European predator that selectively controls grey squirrels. The Eurasian red squirrel, like most tree squirrels, has sharp curved claws to enable it to climb and descend broad tree trunks, thin branches, and even house walls. Its strong hind legs enable it to leap gaps between trees, and it also has the ability to swim. Number 8. Abert's squirrel, or tassel-eared squirrel, is a tree squirrel native to the southern Rocky Mountains from the United States to the northern Sierra Madre Occidental of Mexico. This squirrel can grow up to 46 to 58 centimeters, 18 to 23 inches long, with a tail of 19 to 25 centimeters, 7 to 10 inches. The most noticeable characteristic would be its hair ear tufts, which extend up from each ear 2 to 3 centimeters. This gives this species a striking similarity to the Eurasian red squirrel, aside from its differing dark fur coloration. This squirrel typically has a gray coat, with a white underbelly and a very noticeable rusty reddish colored strip down its back. Abert's squirrel is closely associated with, and nearly confined, to cool, dry, interior ponderosa pine forests. It feeds on the cones, buds, and twigs of ponderosa pine trees, as well as fungus and tree sap. Number 7. The 13th Lined Ground Squirrel, also known as the Striped Gopher, Leopard Ground Squirrel, Squinny, and as the Leopard Spermophile in Audubon's Day, is a ground squirrel widely distributed over grasslands and prairies of North America. This squirrel is brownish, with 13 alternating brown and whitish longitudinal lines, sometimes partially broken into spots on its back and sides, creating rows of whitish spots within dark lines. The 13-lined ground squirrel is strictly diurnal and is especially active on warm days. A solitary or only somewhat colonial hibernator, it often occurs in aggregations in suitable habitats. In late summer, it puts on a heavy layer of fat and stores some food in its burrow. It enters its nest in October, rolls into a stiff ball, and decreases its respiration from between 100 and 200 breaths per minute to one breath about every five minutes. It emerges in March or early April. It is well known for standing upright to survey its domain, diving down into its burrow when it senses danger then sometimes poking out its nose and giving a bird-like trill. It has a maximum running speed of 13 kilometers per hour, 8 miles per hour, and reverses direction if chased. Number 6. The American Red Squirrel is variously known as the Pine Squirrel, North American Red Squirrel, and Chicory. Red squirrels can be easily distinguished from other North American tree squirrels by their smaller size, 28 to 35 centimeters. 11 to 14 inches, total length including tail, territorial behavior, and reddish fur with a white underbelly. This squirrel should not be confused with Eurasian red squirrels. Since the ranges of these species do not overlap, they are both commonly referred to as red squirrels in the areas where they are native. 
American red squirrels are widely distributed across the North American continent. However, an isolated population of red squirrels in Arizona has experienced considerable declines in population size. In 1987, this portion of the population was listed as an endangered species. Number 5. The variegated squirrel is a medium-sized tree squirrel found in Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, southern Mexico, Nicaragua, and Panama. The head and body length is about 26 centimeters, 10 inches, with a tail of much the same length. The several subspecies differ in appearance, and there is often a considerable variation between the appearances of individuals in the same population. The dorsal coloration varies between dark brown to yellowish gray. The neck tends to be darker than other parts, and there is often a paler patch behind the ears. The underparts are usually some shade of cinnamon. The tail is long and densely bushy. In Mexico, it is black, sometimes with white tips to the hairs, giving it a frosted appearance. Number 4. The Golden Mantled Ground Squirrel is distributed in British Columbia and Alberta through the western United States to California, Arizona, and New Mexico. This ground squirrel is generally about 23 to 29 centimeters, 9 to 11 inches in length. It has whitish or yellow-gray underparts, whereas the tail is brown to black, with buff edges and a yellowish to reddish underside. The mantle across the shoulders is tawny to reddish, with males having a deeper reddish tinge. This species is distinguished from similar ground squirrels by a black bordered white stripe down each side of the back. This ground squirrel hibernates over the winter. The breeding season commences when males and females emerge from hibernation at the spring. A female has two to eight young per litter, with an average of five. The lifespan of this ground squirrel is up to about seven years. Number three, the Japanese dwarf flying squirrel is native to Japan where it inhabits subalpine forests and boreal evergreen forests on Honshu and Kyushu Islands. It grows to a length of 20 centimeters, 8 inches, and has a membrane connecting its wrists and ankles, which enables it to glide from tree to tree. During the day, this squirrel hides in a hole, usually in a coniferous tree, emerging at night to feed on buds, leaves, bark, fruits, and seeds. It has large eyes and a flattened tail, with its back covered with gray-brown hair, and its belly is white. Species of flying squirrels possess a patagium, which is a skin membrane used in gliding. In this particular species, their patagium spans between their wrists and ankles, but not between their legs and tail. Multiple individuals of this species can be found grouped together on a single tree. However, usually these individuals tend to be of the same sex when it is not mating season. Number two. Prevost squirrel, or Asian tricolored squirrel, is found in forests in the Thai Malay Peninsula, Sumatra, Borneo, and nearby smaller islands, with an introduced population in northern Sulawesi. It eats fruits, nuts, seeds, buds, flowers, insects, and bird eggs. This squirrel has been observed feeding on durians. It carries the fruits far from the tree, and drop the seeds when finished with its meal. This seed distribution away from the parent plant increases survival for the fruiting plant species. Prevost's squirrel is considered as one of the most colorful mammals in the world, with their black upperparts and tail, reddish-orange underparts, and whitish thighs and flanks. Number 1. The Indian Giant Squirrel, or Malabar Giant Squirrel, is a large-bodied diurnal, arboreal, and mainly herbivorous squirrel found in South Asia. This squirrel has a conspicuous two-toned and sometimes three-toned color scheme. The colors involved can be creamy beige, buff, tan, rust, brown, or even a dark seal brown. The underparts and the front legs are usually cream colored. The head can be brown or beige. However, there is a distinctive white spot between the ears. Adult head and body length varies around 36 centimeters, 14 inches, and the tail length is approximately 61 centimeters, 2 feet. In the shaded understory of a dense forest, the patchy colors and dark hues are a great adaptation to avoiding detection, but in the sunlight, this squirrel shows its true colors and beautiful pelage. <laughs>